Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back. So today I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. And what I did is I've been watching all these YouTube videos of people ranking different things like ranking foods and ranking restaurants and ranking states even. So I thought let's rank some helicopters because that's what I'm about. I'm all about helicopters. So I went on the website that I've seen everyone use and I built this list. I tried to include every helicopter that I could think of. I went on Google and I looked up all the big helicopter companies and some of their flagship helicopters. And I think I got the vast majority of helicopters and it's a really broad spectrum of helicopters. So we're gonna go ahead and rank them. Now, if I miss some helicopters, I will definitely go back and redo this series because I think this is gonna be a really fun video. But if you do find yourself enjoying it, smash the like button and let's get into it. So we are going to jump on my computer and then we'll talk about them but just so you know how the how it works is s tier is like the best the top tier and then you have a b c and d tier d obviously being the worst and i have not flown that many helicopters so this is all just my interpretation and my opinion the link to this website is down in the description below once again i made it so go ahead and use it and have some fun with it and let's get into it all right so here we are we've got our s a b c and d and then all of our helicopters and i'm going to try my best to remember the names of all these helicopters i'm definitely going to mess some up uh, but we'll, we'll get through it so the first one here we have is uh, the Cabri the Cabri G2 I just made a video you guys can check that out up there or up there somewhere um, I think the Cabri is a great helicopter uh, I think it's better than the Robinson R22 it's got three blades it's a little bit more advanced there obviously are problems with it um, like if uh, the screen fails, you lose a lot of your instrumentation, but I think it's a good helicopter. In terms of trainer helicopters, it's going to be like one of the best. It's kind of expensive, but I'm going to put that, I think, I think I have to go A tier. It's not perfect, but in terms of trainer helicopters, it's, it's, it's probably one of the best. All right, next we have the A-Star, the AS350. Now the A-Star is like uh, the pickup truck. It's just a workhorse, you know? It's like it's it's like a bigger version of the Cabri, a turbine helicopter. It can fly really high. Its power to weight ratio is great. So the AS350, there's, there's a lot going for it. And honestly, I don't have too many... I mean, it, it does have that clockwise rotating rotor system, but there's not too many problems with it. So I'm gonna have to go S tier. I'm gonna have to go S tier on the AS350. It's just a great helicopter, very capable. All right, the next one we have is a Schweitzer. Uh, I think, uh, my thing is with the Schweitzer, I've never flown one, um, and I, I look forward to flying one just because they're very popular. I think they're kind of ugly in all honesty, but I've heard they auto really well, and there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it is a fine trainer. Um, it's just a fine helicopter so i just i think i'm gonna go b tier on that i don't know enough about it and i've never flown it it's just it's fine you know nothing wrong with it all right next we have an augusta westland 109 uh beautiful helicopter i'm pretty sure this is the 109 uh beautiful helicopter cool um never flown it don't know that much about it but fine transport helicopter um good for that corporate style stuff uh this is just like a a mediocre helicopter I, I i don't think of it really being any special or it really separating itself from any other corporate helicopter so this is like i'll go c tier you know um fine helicopter but nothing special about it all right next up we have uh the augusta westland 139 the 139 is like uh, along with the skorsky s or uh yeah the s76 i think the 139 is probably the premier uh, transport corporate helicopter charter helicopter I think it's great I think it's just at the top of its pack so I'd have to go a tier with it it's one of the helicopters that I would want to fly I also think the instrument panel is just beautiful and I think it's got a really cool pilot cockpit display uh, or pilot cockpit area so I think I'd, I think I'd go uh, a tier on this all right next up we have the MD 500 the MD 500 is like a classic uh, go to one of the best helicopters really great for utility work um, Some pilots favorite helicopter same style as the MH6 little bird, which is the military version I made a video about that a couple weeks ago. Go check that out here, but it's a great helicopter five blades This is also 
uh, I think it is the top of its class in terms of utility stuff. There's nothing that's going to compete with it. So for that reason, in terms of utility, it's got to go S class. All right, next up we have the Bell 206. The Bell 206, uh, yeah, that's what this one is. Uh, the 206, I made a video about that one here. You can go check that out up there. Uh, the Bell 206 is one of the greatest, if not the greatest helicopter ever produced. Extremely popular. I love the way it looks. It's very nice. I'm just, I'm just a fan of the 206. You know, um, the 407, which we'll get to, is just like a later iteration of it. But I think the 206 is like, in terms of what it can do and uh, its long track record and the pods that have flown it and how they're a fan of it, and I, I have flown it and I loved it as well. I think it's an S tier helicopter. I, I got to go S tier on it. All right, next we have uh, the Bell 505. I made a video comparing the Bell 206 and the Bell 505. You can check that out up here. Link will also be in the description. The 505 is an interesting helicopter. It's kind of like a newer version of the 206. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's, and it's like the competitor to the Robinson R66, which we'll get to. I, I, feel, I feel like medium, if that's even a feeling. I feel medium about the 505. I think it's fine. Um, it just, it doesn't do anything special for me. It's cool. And like, in terms of personal helicopters, it's probably the best personal helicopter you could have, I think, on the market right now. I'll go B tier. You know, it's just, it's just medium for me. All right, next up we have, uh, the Bell 407. Now the 407 is pretty much the helicopter that made me want to get into helicopters. You know, I love it for hems. I think it's just beautiful. It's very sharp. Uh, it just reminds me of like a really nice sharp knife. I just, I love the 407. I think it's a great helicopter. There's almost nothing wrong with it. It's S tier. It's got to be S tier for me. All right, next up is the EC, the Eurocopter 1. I think this is the 35 135. You know, the 135 and the 145, I don't know that much. That, you know, that's a great video idea, maybe. Um, comparing all the Eurocopter models. Very popular for the HEMS market. You know, Air Methods is the largest uh, air ambulance company, and they are massive users of the Eurocopter brand. So maybe I'll make a video comparing those. But the 135, I think that's what this one is. I think the 135 is a great helicopter. Um, very capable. I want to fly it. Just a good overall helicopter, you know. I, I feel as like I'm a teacher and I'm rating my students. And I would say like the 135 is just a good student, you know, gets their work done, shows up, doesn't really have a problem. Just like they're just a joy to have in class. So I'd say uh, the 135 is like an A tier. And then we have uh, the EC-145, I'm pretty sure. And the EC-145 is like just a bigger brother of the 135, I think. I don't think there's that big of a... I don't know of that big of a difference between them. And once again, like as a teacher, I feel like that's just a student that gets their stuff done. You know, they show up on time and it's just a good helicopter. And I, I'm, I look forward to having them in my class. Uh, I want to fly this. So I'm gonna go right alongside on the A tier right there. All right, next up we have an Instrum. Um, and the Instrum, uh, you know, I kind of thought originally, like I, I kind of thought it was like an ugly helicopter, but the design has kind of grown on me and I saw one in person and I, I saw the interior of it and it's actually, it's got quite a bit of space and I'd want to fly them. Um, I, I don't really have a problem with this. Um, never flown it, so I'm kind of biased there. Uh, uh, you know, just a solid trainer. I'm gonna go in the same, and I, I, I think it's like a decent personal helicopter. You know, I think it is probably safer than the Robinson models. Um, so I would just say for this one, I'd go uh, probably B tier, you know? All right, next up we have the Robinson R22. Now this helicopter is near and dear to my heart. Uh, I've got the most time in this helicopter, um, probably seven or 800 hours in this helicopter. I know this helicopter inside and out and I love it. it it's what, it's how I learned how to fly. Now, objectively, there are problems with this helicopter. Um, primarily the rotor system. Now you can check out my video I've done about the Robinson R22. There's so many pros and cons to it, but it, it, there there's dangers to flying it. But in terms of if you want to be a helicopter pilot, there's not gonna be anything more 
on the market and more accessible than a Robinson helicopter. And to to learn how to fly a helicopter, it's a really good helicopter to fly. So with this one, I gotta go A tier. Um, uh, I'm kind of struggling. Like S, I kind of want to put it in the S tier category. I just can't because it is dangerous. You know, if you fly it within its parameters, it's fine. It's a fine helicopter. It's a good helicopter even. Um, but then when you compare it to like the Cabri uh, or the Cabri, whatever, the Cabri has a much bigger fuel tank. It's got those three blades. And the Robinson, it just, it can't fly that long. It doesn't have as much power. I just, I gotta go A tier. You know, it's just, it's good. It's fine. It's just, I don't know if there is a good S-Class trainer. And maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't think there's a good S-Class trainer. All right, next up we have the Bell 212. Now, the Bell 212, um, I don't know that much about it. I was doing research building this list and I looked at like a list of Bell's helicopters and it looks like a Huey. Um, it just looks like a classic Vietnam era Huey. All right, so I just looked up some more information about the Bell 212 because I felt so stupid going through that explanation, but the Bell 212 is the civilian version of the UH-1 uh, 1N twin Huey. But since they're so similar, let's just imagine that this is a Huey, and I think the Huey is a great helicopter. You know, insane amounts of power. It does have just that two-bladed rotor system, which is fine. Uh, Dane, it's got its dangers, but it's fine. I think the Huey and this Bell 212, which looks similar, uh, I think that's an S-Class uh, helicopter. Just because it's done so much for the military, so many pilots have flown it, it's so capable. It's just a good helicopter. So the Bell 212, I don't know that much about it, but let's call it a Huey. I think it's an S-Class helicopter. All right, next up we have uh, the Bell 430. I'm pretty sure this is the Bell 430. It's cool, there's a lot of helicopters up there in the transport category. Um, so I'm just gonna go, uh, or in the corporate in, in the corporate market. So I'm just gonna go C category on that one. All right, next up we have the Augusta Westland 609. Go check out the video I did right here. Super good video. Uh, not that many people watch it, but I think it's a great video. The Augusta Westland uh, 109, or 609 is a helicopter airplane type thing. Uh, it can lift up like a helicopter and then fly vertically. It's like the civilian version of uh, an Osprey. Um, it's in the mar it's in the works right now. I think it has the potential to be really cool. I gotta go B tier right now because it's not out right now, but I think it has the option to move up to like the S tier because uh, it, it could be really uh, transformational. So I think, it's, I think it's cool. All right, next up is the EC-130. Um, the Eurocopter 130 is like a great helicopter for tours. You know, I think the biggest operators of them are like Papillon and Maverick out at the Grand Canyon. And I think, and I would love to fly one. Um, and they're, it's just, a, I think it's an overall good helicopter, capable helicopter, I, just a good, you know, all around helicopter. I'm gonna go in that same market with uh, the A, or the same category as the A tier. You know, it seems I've put in everything in the Eurocopter market up there. Next up, we have the Bell 429. The Bell 429 is like the premier, uh, I don't know, the S76 is like pretty premier. Um, but I, the Bell 429 is just a beautiful helicopter. You know, I've seen it up close in person. Gorgeous, big helicopter. Uh, I don't have any problems with it. I think it, they're incredibly stylish. I love them. I gotta go S tier. Really good helicopter. All right, next up we have the MD-600, which is like the MD-500 with more space. And the the thing about the MD-600 is it's a no-tar. Um, it doesn't have a tail rotor. I think there have been more crashes of this helicopter style than most other helicopter styles. My, I, like I said, I haven't done research, but just my interpretation of it is it's just not a great helicopter. I just, nothing about it excites me. Um, I, I want that tail rotor. I just, I just get a gross vibe from it. So I gotta go D tier, you know, that's just one helicopter that I don't think highly of. All right, next up we have uh, the Robinson R66. Um, now, I did have a picture of a Robinson R44, and if I, uh, if I did have to rate the R44, I would say A tier. Just a transformational helicopter. One of the, the best, one of the best selling helicopters on the market. Just a good helicopter. Um, very capable, really good for personnel stuff. But the R66 is like an upgraded version of that. I think the R66, I, I don't think that highly of it. I think, 
I, it's just, it's cool and I'd like to fly one, but it's just not, you know, if I'm going to fly a turbine helicopter, I don't want it to be a Robinson helicopter. Um, nothing necessarily wrong with it. I just don't love it. You know, I think I'd rather fly a 505. I'd say with the Robinson R66, just, I got to go C tier. Nothing special about it. Just, eh. All right. Then we have uh, the Sikorsky S92. Now the S92 is probably, I think it's the biggest helicopter. Uh I'm pretty sure it's like, it's like, I think it's the biggest helicopter. I definitely operated in the Gulf. Really used for offshore oil rig stuff. Um, I'd love to get to fly one. I think the instrument panel and just the cockpit of this helicopter feels like an airplane and you, you feel like a really cool pilot and I, I'd love to fly one. IFR capable, really big, just like a, a nice big meaty helicopter. I, I gotta go S tier because that is like the top of the offshore oil rig market. I'd love to fly one, great helicopter. All right, uh, then we have uh, the UH-6 Black, the UH-60 uh, Blackhawk. Um, the Blackhawk is like the premier military, uh, American military helicopter. You know, you think of US military helicopter and you think of the Blackhawk, it's just like great helicopter, um, nothing wrong with it cool love to get to fly one uh i gotta go i don't know why it would be anything less than s tier just the best of the military helicopters and then finally we have uh the sky crane uh this is developed by sikorsky i don't remember i feel really dumb but i don't remember uh, exactly what the number what aircraft number it is or uh it's developed by sikorsky but it's also called the ericsson sky crane um cool helicopter not necessarily for me at this time. Really big, really interesting things like uh, very heavy lift. You can see how it's designed. It just, it's not the standard helicopter. It can do really cool things. It just, it, it's not for me at this time. Not even that I'm qualified to fly, but I think uh, it's at the top of its category for what it can do. Nothing can really compare with its weight, uh, with its power ratio. You know, it just can lift such uh, insane amounts of weight um, and do really cool things. So I got to go S tier, you know, uh, nothing compares with it. All right. So uh, we'll call it right there. This was my list of, uh, I called it civil helicopters, but I, I, I threw uh, the Blackhawk in there. Um, but this was the first time I did it. I had a lot of fun. I think it's really fun ranking things. Um, I will definitely come back and do it again and maybe my views will change and we'll have some new helicopters and I'll definitely go back through and update this list. But I thought this was fun and if you enjoyed it as well, smash that like button. Uh, I got new videos coming out every Sunday and Wednesday. If you agreed with my list, let me know down below or if there's anything that you would move around or if I really completely messed anything up let me know down in the comments below i will see you guys on the next one take care